Uncle Wiggily and the Canoe by Howard R. Garris. Hello, Sammy Littletail, called a voice. Sammy Littletail, the rabbit boy, sat up in his bed of green leaves and listened carefully. He was camping on Candia Island in Sugar Lake with Uncle Wiggily. Hello, Sammy Littletail, called the voice again. And Uncle Wiggily, too, shouted a second voice. Hello to him also. The old gentleman rabbit, who was sleeping on another green leafy bed near Sammy, opened his eyes. Is someone calling us? he asked. It sounds like it, replied Sammy, sort of sleepily. Then two voices called together. Where are you, Sammy? Come on out and have some fun. Oh, I know who it is, cried Sammy. It's Johnny and Billy Bushytail, the Squirrel Brothers. And when Sammy looked out of the large tent, he saw the two squirrel boys frisking about on the ground looking for nuts. We came to spend the day in camp with you, Sammy, explained Johnny. And you are very welcome, said Uncle Wiggily politely. Nurse Jane Fuzzy Wuzzy, will you kindly get breakfast? Then the muskrat lady, who was also camping on the island, began to cook breakfast. The kind circus elephant got a pail of water in his trunk at the well Uncle Wiggily had dug. Now, what shall we do to amuse Johnny and Billy? asked Uncle Wiggily after breakfast. How would you all like to come for a ride in my airship? Oh, fine, cried Billy. We came to the island in Grandfather Goosey Gander's steamboat, an airship ride. Now will be a nice change. Come along then, cried Uncle Wiggily, and soon they were sailing above the treetops and over Sugar Lake. They rode around and around in the airship, sitting on sofa cushions. After a while, Sammy, looking down, cried out, Oh, Uncle Wiggily, we are right over another island, different from ours. Let's see what's on it. All right, cried the old, agreed the old gentleman rabbit, and down he sent his airship. This island was not as large as the one on which Uncle Wiggily had made his camp, but still, it was very nice. The old gentleman rabbit tied his airship to a tree, and then he and the rabbit boy and the squirrel brothers wandered about looking for adventures. They did not find one right away. But they found some tame hickory nuts for the squirrels and some wild carrots for the two rabbits. And everyone had a good time. And then, before they knew it, they had an adventure. As they walked back toward the place where they had left the airship, Sammy suddenly cried out, Why, it's gone! What's gone? asked Uncle Wiggily quickly. Your airship! exclaimed Sammy. Look, there it goes! And surely enough, there was the airship sailing back all by itself over the treetops toward Candy Island, where the camp was. Oh dear, cried Uncle Wiggily. Come back here, airship. How are we ever to get off this island without the airship? But the airship did not answer, and it did not come back. On and on it sailed, all by itself, and soon it was out of sight. Oh dear, cried Uncle Wiggily. I must have forgotten to turn off the electric fan. And while we were looking for an adventure, the fan started up by itself and flew my airship away. Oh, what are we to do? We cannot swim back to Candy Island. Let's call for help, suggested Sammy. Maybe the elephant or Nurse Jane will hear us and come to our rescue. Let's call as loud as we can. So they shouted and yelled and called, separately and all together, but it did no good. Neither Nurse Jane nor the elephant heard them, being too far away on Candy Island. Oh, we shall never get back home, cried Billy and Johnny Bushytail. We could if we had a boat, said Sammy bravely. That's it, a boat, cried Uncle Wiggily. I should have thought of that before. There are some birch trees on this island. If we could strip off some of the bark, we could make a bark canoe, just as the Indians used to do. Oh, we can strip the bark off for you, said the Squirrel Brothers. We are used to doing that. So they peeled off long strips of bark with their sharp teeth. <clears throat> and 
Then Sammy and Uncle Wiggily sewed the strips together in the shape of a canoe using long pieces of wild grapevine for thread. They put sticky gum from the pine tree over the cracks so no water would leak in. Soon they had a fine canoe. Now get in and we'll go to our island, said Uncle Wiggily. But when they were in the canoe, which floated on the water, they could not move, for they had no oars or paddles to push themselves along. Oh, what shall we do? cried Sammy. Ha! We will hoist our broad, bushy tails for sails, cried the Squirrel Brothers. This they did. The wind blew on their tails, and away sailed the bark canoe over the waters of the lake on toward Candy Island. Soon they all arrived safely, and there, waiting for them, was the airship, which had accidentally sailed away without them. But we didn't need it as long as we had the bark canoe, said Uncle Wiggily. Nurse Jane and the elephant were very glad to see their friends safely back once more, and soon dinner was ready. And apparently there's another book, Uncle Wiggily's Storybook. So if you're interested in more, there are more.